Hello, my name is Jared Niemi. This is a quick little video to show you the hard way to do Bayesian parameter estimation. In a couple of videos previously, I showed the easy way, which is certainly recommended, um, but just to show that the two result in the same uh, conclusion, at least in this example, uh, here's a slide. So just to recall that uh, Bayesian inference, Bayesian parameter estimation, is based off of deriving the posterior distribution for the parameter. That is the distribution for the parameter conditional on the data. We find that by applying Bayes' rule, we get that the likelihood times the prior divided by the posterior predictor distribution. And if we want to use this to derive the posterior, that would be called the hard way. If instead we do this proportionality trick, where we drop everything on this side that does not involve what's on the left side of the conditioning bar, in this case it's just everything that does not involve our parameter theta, we arrive at this result, and just using that portion of the posterior is enough to get us what the posterior distribution is. But the purpose of this slide here, uh, or this mini lecture here, is to show you how the hard way to go about doing it. All right, so I'm not going to stay on this slide long, so if you want to review it, you should uh, pause it or just print it out. The, uh, the one thing that I want to say is the, it's sort of a two-step process if you're doing it the hard way. One is to derive the marginal likelihood itself. And then the second way is to derive the posterior, which depends on that marginal likelihood right here. Uh, essentially, uh, it's only hard in that there's much more to keep track of, but essentially all the mathematics is exactly the same. And you're still left at this point right here in trying to identify what this distribution is. Right, in this case, we can recognize this as the probability density function for a beta random variable, um, assuming, which I have not done here, that you have the right support. Right, I could have carried down the support the whole way, but the key here is that we started with the support on 0, 1, so we'll end with the support on 0, 1, and that is, in fact, a beta distribution. So that's the hard way, certainly not the recommended way. The recommended way is this, the easy way, um, where we use that proportionality constant to drop everything that does not involve theta. That is, everything that does not involve what's the left of the conditioning bar. So here we drop the posterior predictor distribution, and then now when we write down the statistical model as well as the prior, we drop the n choose y and the beta function of alpha and beta, because those don't involve the parameter theta. Uh, we combine the terms, and now we have to recognize this kernel, right, and recognize that that's the kernel of a beta distribution. Again, I've neglected to put in the uh, the support for theta. So anyway, this is a quick little video on the hard way versus the easy way to derive uh, Bayesian posteriors and certainly recommended that you use the easy way. Thank you.